and from the research conducted by the Global Bedding of Disease and Antimicrobial Resistance Collaborators, uh, one in eight deaths in 2019 uh, linked to bacterial infections, the, leading, the second leading cause of death globally. And according to this analysis or this research, I mean, it is the first global estimate of mortality involving 33 bacterial pathogens and 11 types of infection suggest they were associated with 7.7 million deaths in 2019. And deaths associated, associated with, that, with the 33 pathogens accounted for 13.6% of all global death. There are the total races talked about the mortality rate associated with bacterial infections, which was very high in sub-Saharan Africa. I mean, where we can find Ghana and lowest in high income regions, including Western Europe and North America. Um, so uh, the study is, I mean, serves as a guide to strategize for reduce for as a guide to start, uh, strategize to reduce the bacterial infections, including control measures, vaccine development, and increase uh, availability of basic acute care services. Um, I'm gonna talk to Dr. Chris Morey, who I mean uh, gonna tell us more about this uh, uh, research and analysis uh, of uh, uh, done by the uh, Global Bedding of Disease and Antimicrobial Resistance Collaborators. So, so uh, I'm the uh, director of the Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation at the University of Washington. I'm an infectious disease physician, as well as um, doing a lot of work with many collaborators on measuring health and it's the risks to health around the world through the Global Burden of Disease Collaboration. Great. Yes. Doc, uh, you have read, I know you have read the entire research and analysis of this particular uh, paper that we, uh, I mean, issues that have been raised. Uh, does it come to you as a surprise, uh, considering the fact that the world, I mean, has done a lot in terms of development in terms of vaccines development in terms of medication among others does it come to you as a surprise that we still have these bacterial pathogens killing a lot of people than even hiv it does you know i think many people would expect that um these pathogens you know aren't aren't such killers as they are so it is quite surprising that they are still there in the community, still causing a lot of harm. Well, I think some of the deaths from these pathogens are, are sort of hidden because uh, we tend to cluster uh, things together in uh, syndromes like uh, pneumonia or a bloodstream infection or a wound infection and don't really dig into the details to see what are the bacteria causing those problems. And that's when you do that, you reveal that some bacteria that most people aren't that familiar with are actually at the root cause of multiple different uh, syndromes. And so part of, of the research is to shed light on the importance of these bacteria. This common bacteria known, but bacterial pathogens known, by many experts is the leading cause of death, uh, is the second leading cause of death. And Sub Saharan Africa has recorded a lot of mortality uh, linked to this bacteria. I mean, why? Wh what are we seeing in Africa that, in Sub-Saharan Africa, that we are, we are recording this mortality? That's an excellent question. And I think part of it relates to the uh, risk factors for some of the infections like pneumonia, like um, you know wound infections, like uh, skin infections, uh, these are more common in Africa, very common in West Africa. That has to do with both uh, you know the the environment, uh, malnutrition, 
uh, lack of vaccination in some cases, for example, for streptococcus pneumonia. So those all come together to make the risk of those uh, infections, these bacterial infections, higher. Mm. So let's look at let's quickly look at the the the, the pathogens, these pathogens, and and then we we'll move to the um, the figures in sub-Saharan Africa, and then we will look at break it down to Ghana, where I, many people would want to know what, what was the mortality rate with regards to this particular part of bacteria infections. I mean, uh, do we, can we, I mean, in simple terms, uh, know what these pathogens are? I mean, we... So some of the big path, the big bacteria that people aren't familiar with, but are very common causes uh, of illness are things like Staph aureus or Klebsiella pneumonia or E. coli or Pseudomonas. Uh, these are whole families of bacteria that are surprisingly common. They cause pneumonia in little kids. They cause pneumonia in adults. They cause skin infections that then can become more generalized. They cause wound infections, urinary tract infections. So very, they, they attack the body in many ways. Uh, and these bacteria, which nobody has ever heard the names of unless you're a specialist or a physician, uh, are, are really quite common. And so they're, they're present and have turned out to be important killers in the world. Do we know the figures in Ghana, the mortality rate in Ghana? Sure, if you look at the number of deaths in Ghana, as best we know, uh, a bacteria like Staph aureus causes 6,000 deaths a year, uh, Klebsiella, another 5,000, Strep pneumonia, another 5,000 deaths, E. coli, maybe 3,500 deaths a year. So quite substantial numbers of deaths in Ghana from these bacteria. Compared to other diseases like tuberculosis, malaria, and other stuff like HIV? Yes. So tuberculosis would be about 10,000 deaths. Uh, and then, you know, malaria would, I, I, off the top of my head, I don't remember the number, but it's about this, that same magnitude and HIV somewhat less. Uh, so these are, are very substantial killers of the same similar magnitude to HIV, TB, and malaria. And if you put those top five bacteria together, they would be larger than um, HIV, TB, or malaria on their own. Okay, thank you so much. Before I let you go, your final word, though. Uh, well, thanks for your interest in this. I think it's very important that we all understand you know, what are the things killing people in our communities so that we can try to address them more directly. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'll keep, I'll keep in touch.